Uh, I rise today to offer my amendment. It's an amendment concerning state contracts and tax liens. I was inspired to write this amendment with the special deal that the Senate cut to move their offices across the street to this beautiful building that has the great view of the Capitol. I was so inspired by this, I actually gave my amendment a name. I call it, how does the average guy get a deal like this amendment? My amendment would prevent any state entity from signing a contract with someone who owes back taxes to the state. When the Senate entered into this contract to move its offices across the street, the owners of that building and their associates were delinquent, delinquent in their state taxes to the tune of almost $2 million. Now, the average Michigander who's delinquent in their state taxes would most certainly be prohibited from doing any business with the state. Furthermore, any individual, their credit would be damaged, impairing their ability to find work or get a loan. They'd also be subject to fines, penalties, legal fees, and perhaps even do jail time. But the, but the tax problems of the special interest group that got that contract were all swept under the rug in the sweetheart deal. That's not right. That's not right for Michigan taxpayers. The state should not enter contracts with entities that do not fulfill their financial obligations and who do not comply with the laws of our state. There should be a single standard for everyone and no carve-outs for the well-connected. I ask my colleagues for support on my amendment. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Yanez. The question for the House is adoption of the amendment. The clerk will open the board. The amendment is not adopted.